Hi friends! Welcome back to Arts and Crafts. My name is Crystal Gonzalez. Now, does anybody remember our memory verse? Yes, I heard that loud and clear. Matthew 5, 16. Now let's go over it together, okay? In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So this week, we're focusing on letting our light shine before others. In today's lesson, we learned about taking the time to thank God. In today's story, we learned about the importance of thanking Jesus. Jesus met with 10 men while traveling on the road. Does anybody remember what was wrong with the men on the road? Yes, I heard that too. They all had leprosy. Jesus did heal all of them. But what happened after that? Yes, you are correct. Only one of them turned back around and gave thanks to Jesus for what he has done for him. Now, we need to be thankful to God for all that he does and all that he gives us. We shine our light by being thankful. So today's arts and crafts, we're gonna make an I am thankful craft. This craft is gonna help us really express everything that we're thankful for. And it's gonna give us a way to show others that we are thankful to God for all that he does. So let's get crafting. All right, friends, to make our thankful craft, we're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler, some glue stick, and one, two, three, four sheets of construction paper. And optional, a bowl if you have one. Now to begin, we're going to grab one of our sheets of paper that you're going to use for your petals or rays, depending if you're making a flower or a sun. Now we're going to measure off three and a half inches, starting from the edge and going straight across, just like this. It doesn't really matter where you start on the piece of paper, just make sure you line up the ruler on the edges of the paper. And now I'm going to do a second set of marks just to ensure that I can line up both marks and make a straight line. So I'm just going to go across just like this. Alright, now let's line up our marks with our ruler and make the line straight across. We're going to do this with all the marks that we created. And what I like to do is cut off this excess right here so I do not get confused. Now, the petals or rays, depending on which one you're making, are going to be three and a half inches wide and seven and a half inches long. So I'm going to measure off seven and a half inches from the edge, just like this. I'm going to make my marks and I'm going to line them up with my ruler and mark off the seven and a half inch mark just like so and just like previously I'm gonna cut off that excess so I don't get confused and there we go 
Now how I like to do it is I like to get my ruler, line it up just like this. And measure off so I can get a good idea of where the center of this rectangle is. But honestly, it can get a bit confusing. So sometimes what I like to do is just grab the piece of paper and just fold it in half ever so slightly. Mark it off just a little bit so you can see that fold mark. Now if you take your ruler, you can make a nice line all the way across so you can figure out where the middle line of that rectangle is. Now we're gonna do it one more time on the edge to the first line that we made and make us ever so slightly make a mark so we can line up our ruler and mark it off. Now I'm doing this so I can better make sure that my petal array are the right size all the way around. So I'm going to break it up in each of the four little rectangles that I created. And this is how I use it. All of my little grid marks to create a petal or ray, depending on which one you're making. And that way I know that I'm utilizing the space and our petals are going to be the right size. Now, if I take the ruler, line it up with our line, bend your finger so you, the, your nail runs across the ruler, bend right underneath the paper, just like this, you're going to get a pretty straight line and you're able to fold it in just like so. Yes. This is an optional step. And this is the other version of how to fold it. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm creating a pattern. I don't wanna have to keep doing this for all the sh three sheets of paper. And now we have a perfect pattern of a petal or sun ray depending on what you're making and I can just cut one time instead of having to cut nine petals out at once one by one I should say now we have our pattern made and now we can use this to trace it on the other sheets of paper I'll show you how I do it there's one there's two oh I didn't cut all the way through. It happens sometimes, no big deal. Just go ahead and snip up, and there you go. Now you have three of the nine petals, or sun rays. Now grab your next sheet of paper. Now this time around, we're just gonna grab one of our petals. We're gonna use this as our pattern. So line it up right on the edge, get your pencil, and we're going to trace it just like this. We're going to hold it down with your hand and you're going to start tracing the outer edge all the way around. And there you go. Now we have a pattern. Now what I like to do is take this and fold it up, make it nice and straight by lining up the edges and then pressing down. There we go. Now we're gonna fold this into an accordion style also. And this one doesn't need to be very precise. Just make sure that it's all on top and your petals aren't gonna be cut short. Now go ahead and grab your scissors and let's cut these out also. 
It is so much faster to cut things out when we have a pattern, isn't it? I love creating the pattern, but it does take a moment to create them. There we go, we have three more. Now let's grab our last sheet of paper and repeat the same process. We're gonna grab one of the petals, line it up right on the edge, hold it down and trace it. Now, we're gonna grab our sheet of paper like we did before and fold it down, line up the edges just like this and then press it down slowly, perfect. Now turn it around like we did previously to make an accordion, line up the edges and there we go. Now it's ready to start cutting. All right, let's grab our orange sheet of paper or the other one, depending on what color you chose. Now we're gonna make the center. These are gonna be out, and let's put them on the side. Now the center is gonna be a five inch circle. So the way we make it is we take the ruler in the center of the paper, mark off five inches, and then I mark off the two and a half mark. And then I'm gonna line it up with my two and a half mark on the opposite direction, and then do another line that is five inches long. And you kind of get the idea. We're gonna keep going around until we have a pinwheel looking like shape. And remember to keep lining it up at the two and a half inch mark. So that way, everything lines up. So in the end, this is what your shape's gonna look like. We're gonna connect the lines, make a nice big circle all the way around. Now, the reason I mentioned the bowl is because the bowl that we found is actually five inches in diameter. So we could have actually put the bowl on top of the paper and just traced it like so. Let me show you. So if you do have a bowl that is five inches like we do, all you had to do was trace it. And it would have been a nice, easy pattern. But honestly, I like marking everything off and I'll show you why in just a moment. All right, let's get ready to cut this out. Let's grab our glue stick. Now we're ready to start assembling our craft. Now, the reason why I do like to mark things off, as you can tell, we're gonna add glue to that part, but they actually fit perfectly in this little sliver that we created earlier. Now, we want the pretty side and the tip to be at a certain way. So we gotta make sure that we add glue to the part that is ugly on the circle, so all the markings, but our pretty side is down when we're gluing on it. 
So when you turn it around, the pretty side is what shows up. And we're just going to keep doing this all the way around. Making sure to line up everything properly. We see all the markings on our side and not the opposite side. And now, since we're ready for the second layer, we're gonna put the glue right in between the two petals or sun rays. And we wanna make sure it's right in between. So go ahead and grab your petal or sun ray and glue it right in between. We actually are gonna have one left over, but that's okay. And there you go. Let's turn this around and look how beautiful our flower or sun is. And that is our craft, friends. So we are all done with our arts and crafts today. Let me show you what Ana e is thankful for because she did finish the craft before. And here it is. She is thankful for all these things, all these people, and they're all written all around. So I'm excited to see what you guys are thankful for. So I hope you do share. Well, that's it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.